Good evening, everyone. I'm over here with Buck. He's excited about his dinner. You ready? He's ready. And look who showed up. Literally was just hanging out there and staring at Buck. He probably knew, like, okay, I know she's coming. I even put peanuts over here. I brought peanuts off of Simon this evening. I said I feel bad because every evening he's always looking for peanuts. So I figured I'd bring out peanuts for Simon. Ugh, okay, you ready? You ready, big boy? I got his apples. Then I got strawberries and butternut squash for him. I leave them in a bucket so the ants don't get to them. Because then, forget it. The bowls, they'll get like a million ants on them. Now we just gotta wait for Simon to come to see if Simon comes and collects his peanuts. So we got Buck and Thumper at the spot. Right? Right, Buck? We got you and Thumper. And Thumper's over there. You know what's crazy? Because I was talking about Thumper this morning, how Thumper like decides to pop up whenever he wants. And it's funny. I feel like, what, he was listening to me this morning? <laughs> like he was somewhere hiding, listening? I think I just seen Simon. Is that Simon? I see something little running around. I don't know if that was Simon. Hold on, guys. If I stop talking, that's because I'm just looking to see if I see Simon. I put the peanuts there for Simon. That's usually the spot where he goes looking for peanuts. Oh, it is hot. It got hot out today. I have to, I'm not gonna lie. It's really hot out. Simon, you want peanuts? Come here. Hi, Simon. Come here. Yep, it is Simon. Simon is coming. He's on his way. Come here, Simon. All right, I'm gonna have to wait till Simon comes on this side because I don't wanna throw the peanuts on Simon's side. I feel like everybody's gonna get, get them and then he's not gonna be able to collect how many peanuts he wants. So I'm just gonna have to wait for Simon to come on this side. Because eventually he will be on this side. I'm just looking around to see if I see I just see a Simon. I know he's close by. Buck, you dropped one apple. You dropped. All right, he wants in the bucket. You want in the bucket? All right, hold on, guys. Let me just pour all his stuff in the bucket because that's what he wants. He wants it in the bucket now. You ready? Look at him waiting because he knows I'm going to dump his food in the bucket. You're smart. Buck, you are a smart cookie. Here you go. Bon appetit, my big boy. He's got his apples, strawberries, and butternut squash. Where's Simon? Simon, where are you? I just seen Simon here. I don't know where Simon went. I'm going to sit down right here. I'm going to stay in this spot right here so I could get, you know, Simon, Buck, and Dumper. I could get all of them. Dumper's over there. Nibbling on the corn. And Buck is over here finishing up his dinner. And I'm waiting for them, uh, Simon to pop up. I just seen Simon, but I don't know where he went. Where did he go? I know he's going to be running around up here. I know if I scatter the peanuts on the ground where Buck is, eventually Buck is going to eat them all on Simon. Where'd he go? I don't know where Simon went. I'm gonna have to stay here and just wait. Oh my God, this morning I didn't realize that I had the camera zoomed like so many times without even realizing it. You know what it is? Sometimes when I record, I don't stare at the camera. Like I stare at the actual animals that I'm recording and talking to them. So then I'm not realizing that I'm like really zoomed in or zoomed out. Like I don't realize it until I stare at the, I glance at the camera and I'm like, oh, oh, it's, it was too zoomed in or too zoomed out. Cause I noticed my this morning video, the morning video, there was a lot of parts that was really zoomed in. So I'm sorry about that guys. I'm sorry. Honestly, I didn't even realize that until afterwards. Oh, I sprayed this tree today, this morning. This one and this one, cause it has so many ants and it had those lantern bugs on it. I don't see nothing on them anymore. 
Both trees, they're empty. I don't see no ants, no bugs on them, nothing. I'm telling you, this spray is really, really good. Really, really good. Where's Simon? I know Simon's gonna try to bother Thumper. I don't know where Simon went. All right, I'll just stay here, wait. If he doesn't come by the time I leave, then I'll dump them on the ground. I'm looking guys just to see if I see another deer like in the forest. Blue, is that you? I just seen a bird fly on a tree. Simon went. I'm sorry guys. I know the camera's everywhere right now. I'm just trying to figure out where that chipmunk went. I have peanuts for him, but it's alright. If he don't come, I'll just offer it to the birds. You see, the one evening I bring out the peanuts, and Simon is not here. He was here. I did see him running around, but I don't know where he went. You're so cute, Buck. You're enjoying your dinner? Yeah. And I don't see no flies or any bugs like flying around him or bothering him, so that's good. Thank God. Because it's pretty warm out right now. I just threw ice, a whole bunch of ice cubes in Buck's water, and I added a little bit extra more water in his bucket. So now his water is nice and cold, and he has more water. The little one's bowl is still nice and full. So Buck is enjoying his corn. And Thumper is right there enjoying his food. So cute. Thumper, you're so cute. What happened, Bluey? Bluey, you want peanuts? Alright, you know what? I'm gonna give Bluey some of the peanuts because. Just threw it, watch. Bluey's gonna land down any second, watch. Just threw the peanuts, he's looking around. He's looking around. He's gonna land any minute to the ground. Okay, I just threw them again. You see? Hi, Bluey, and you brought a friend. Watch. Now you're going to see another blue jay land down. This is a different blue jay that's going to come down to eat the peanuts. Because there's one more blue jay right now on that tree. Come on, go get your peanuts. You see? And that's Bluey's friend. Bluey made his friend come. I honestly don't know which one is Bluey out of those two blue jays. I really don't know. But I know one of them is Bluey. I just don't know which one. And Simon never came to collect his peanuts. An ant already got inside the bowl. Hold on, guys. How the hell the ants get in the bowls already? Where you going? <laughs> Alright, Buck, you could have it. So I don't think Simon is coming. I threw the peanuts, whatever. Buck could have some. He's cleaning the floor. I did, saw, I did see a chipmunk, but I guess it wasn't Simon. Because usually Simon comes on my side and runs around. 
And Buck is eating those peanuts. Meanwhile, Buck, if I was to give him a cup full of those peanuts, the regular peanuts, he would leave some behind. He wouldn't eat them like all, all. But then when I offer them to other animals, he goes at it. Like, it's like he wants them all. I swear, Buck is so funny. It's like he doesn't want me feeding the other animals. That's why I threw the corn on this side for Thumper. Well, it's good that Thumper was on this side, so nobody could bother him. You're cleaning up all the peanuts? Now Simon is really not gonna have no peanuts. And Buck probably ate all his corn and he finished his dinner. You finished up? Good boy, drink some water. You have fresh water in that bucket. Nice and cold, Buck, you should drink it while it's cold. You really should, you should have a couple of sips. I wore a tank top out here. I hope I don't get eaten alive. Blue, are you back? There's another blue jay right now hanging out on the main tree that's right by like Buck. Like over there on that tree. so nice out. It's like nice and quiet. It's like beautiful out. And Thumper's over there. Thumper, you're so chunky. You're such a chunky rabbit. You've been probably foraging a lot on greens because he looks nice and chunky. A lot chunkier than what he looked the last time I seen him. And if Thumper gets thirsty, Thumper could hop over right there and there's a bowl of water right there for Thumper. That's why I always put that bowl of water there and I stick ice cubes in it too so it stays nice and cold. And it's good because the little one's bowls is stainless steel. So if I put ice cubes, it'll probably stay cooler a lot longer than Buck's buckets than his water because his water is like a hard plastic, his buckets. But I don't want to buy, I don't want to put a stainless steel like bucket or something on his side because what when the sun shines on it, you know, I feel like I'll cook the water and like the corn that's in there. So that's why I leave Buck's buckets the way they are. And I can't really change Buck's buckets because he doesn't, he's so used to those buckets that if you change it on him, he will not eat or drink. Even if I change the spot, he will not eat or drink. So that's why with Buck, you can't do too many changes. Buck doesn't like too many changes. I noticed that with him throughout the years. I couldn't really change too much things around, you know? Even if I add like decorations to the tree, like one Halloween, I would never forget. It was like three, four years ago. I added like fake bats that were like, I made them hang because there was branches on this tree. There used to be a branch here that used to hang, but I ended up breaking it off. And I used to hang like fake bats for Halloween. You know, Buck got like nervous. Like he kept looking at it like he was nervous. Like he did not like it. So I had to remove it. So that's why when I decorate, usually for the holidays, I usually like to decorate this piece of plastic here. It's like a plexiglass plastic, like a plastic plexiglass. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a hard, hard, thin plastic piece or plexiglass. Oh, look at Bluey, how close you are. Bluey's like, let me grab the peanuts, whatever's here. Oh, you'll probably find luck. Yep, you're finding luck to find peanuts. Too bad Simon is not there. And Buck is leaving me. And Dumper is over here. Alright, everyone. I'm going to get going because Buck is walking off. Dumper's probably going to hang out here for a while, but... Dumper, I can't stay with you too long. I know I see a... Is that a bird or is that a chipmunk? And look at Simon, where Simon is. Really, Simon? Unless that's a different chipmunk, I don't know. But I'm assuming that's Simon. Simon, you're too late now. I got rid of your peanuts because I thought you weren't coming. <sighs> you see these animals? They show up when they want to. <laughs> Buck is the only one that knows the time schedule. Simon knows the time schedule for the mornings, but I guess not the evenings. 
All right, everyone. I'll be back tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, I just felt the mosquito on me. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another video. I hope everybody has a great evening and a good night. And me and Buck and the rest of the crew, and Buck is over there foraging. We will be back tomorrow morning. Buck is doing great. His antlers keep growing and growing and growing, it looks like. They're starting to fork out now. So pretty soon he's gonna get like, you know, the points in between the antlers, like in the middle of them. I can't wait till that like pops out. Like, you know, the in-between, in the middle. So we have an idea of like how much, how many pointers he's gonna be. We'll know by the end of July, we'll have an idea, a really good idea. Oh, he's back here. You ate all your corn, I'm assuming. You ate all your corn? Yeah, because he's eating the corn off the floor now. Oh my God, fuck. All right, everyone, I'm gonna get going. I'll be back later. I mean, later. Oh my God, for a minute I was thinking it was morning. It is not morning, it's evening right now. It's like five o'clock, something like that. Or I think like 4.30, 4.40. When I came out here, it was almost five o'clock. Ah, oh, my head is like everywhere right now. <laughs> All right, I mean, my brain is everywhere, not my head. <laughs> But I'll be back tomorrow morning with another video. So everyone have a good night. And me and this big boy will be back tomorrow morning. Ciao for now.